All right, well, it, really just an awesome night uh, tonight, uh, you know, for our community, for the university, for every uh, Ram fan that's ever witnessed the game here, uh, for any player that's ever played. Uh, a lot of memories uh, in this stadium. Uh, and I know I've only been here through two seasons, uh, but, uh, you know, this week, we've talked to our team all week about what kind of big responsibility we had. Uh, you know, and it, it was, you know, it was senior night. You got 19 seniors. There's a lot of emotion when, when senior night uh, comes around for your team, and then being the last game at Hughes Stadium, uh, a lot of emotion there, and uh, challenged our guys. You know, after a disappointing loss last week on the road, you know, to do our job and uh, to handle it with excellence and prepare with excellence. Uh, and really proud of our coaches and our players of how they responded. Uh, and came out here and uh, played the way, the type of football uh, that uh, you know I expect us to play week in and week out. And I thought it was great showing by our fans. I love seeing the student section full. You know, we're moving into a new stadium. That's how it needs to be every week. You know, we need to start a new tradition of selling out every football game. But uh, you know, great win, great team win. Uh, we played well. Thought we played hard. We played physical. We won the line of scrimmage, and uh, that's what you got to do in this league to win football games. Is that the way you saw this game playing out, is that you would outrush the nation's top rushing team, hit 412 yards rushing? Well, no, I didn't think we hit 412 yards rushing. Uh, but uh, I, I felt good about our rushing plan. Uh, they're a big pressure team. Uh, we, weren't, we, we knew coming into the game, you know, we weren't going to be in a lot of 11 personnel or a lot of open sets. Prepared our kids for that, you know. You know, told those receivers that it's going to be one of those games where we're going to play a lot of two receiver sets, a lot of one receiver sets, to have two tight ends attached, uh, you know, so we can protect both the edges uh, and, and try to set walls in the run game. And uh, I thought our coaches offensively did a great job coming up with a, a great game plan. Uh, Nick did a great job of executing and getting us in the right play uh, early in the game. They were doing some stuff different. We were able to make adjustments on the run right there in the middle of the game uh, and, and set walls and crease them. Uh, our offensive line played, played outstanding. Uh, our tight ends and fullbacks, which are you know, the same guys with Nolan playing fullback, did a great job and, and, and our backs ran extremely hard. Uh, that, that's how Izzy Matthews has got to run in this league. Dalen Dawkins was seeing it, hitting the creases, and then everybody saw what kind of speed Marvin Kinsey has when he gets in the open field. Uh, and then you got, you know, you got threats out there at receiver. You know, I, I felt we could throw it as well to Gallup, but uh, you know, being able to control the line of scrimmage and control some of the clock in the first half was huge. I know in the second half we scored so fast, uh, we probably lost the time of possession there in the second half. But uh, just really a great job of executing the game plan by our guys. Uh, tonight. Mike, bowl eligibility, just how important was that to achieve that? <laughs> well, it, it's important. It's, uh, you know, it's, we didn't reach, you know, all of our goals this year, uh, you know, and the year's not done, but that was one of our goals, uh, and to, you know, to qualify for a bowl and be bowl eligible and have a chance to, you know, play two more games with this football team and these seniors and continue to develop uh, what we're trying to build here uh, is, is an opportunity for us that we got to take advantage of. And, uh, you know, the main thing, you know, we talked about all week and, and today, uh, you know, what we need to do. You know, not New Mexico, not bowl eligibility. We need to come out here and play hard for 60 minutes and play physical. And uh, our guys played extremely physical uh, tonight. Yes. This Closing down a stadium may be a unique situation to you. Can you put in perspective what tonight means, closing the stadium down for the last time, walking off the field for the last time? Well, I think it was a pretty uh, amazing scene there uh, at, the, at the end of the game, you know, with everybody on the field and shutting off the lights. Uh, you know, and I got, I got to go up top and, and shoot the cannon, but just to sit and sit up there and watch uh, the people just, just celebrate and enjoy the moment. Uh, and, you know, like I said at the beginning of the week, you know, our part and my part and this team's part was to play the way that we needed to play to honor this stadium. And, you know, it was good that we came out and played that way. And, and it was great to see the, see the fans and the alumni and everybody that loves Colorado State get to savor the moment on a, on a really special night. And told our players all week, I said, you know, this place is special. Uh, 
uh, because of the memories people have here of watching football games. You're the last memory that uh, these fans are going to be able to see in Hughes Stadium, and we need to put on a show, and I thought we did tonight.